Howdy folks, uh, today we're going to go over the AJAZ, I think it's like 1-3 triad or something like that, 1-3 triad. Uh, so it's a mouse, keyboard, and mouse pad combo. And uh, let's see, it's a big box. So we got like, it says things like 4 levels of DPI, 3500 DPI max, specialized software, PMW-3327 optical sensor on the mouse, 16.8 million RGB colors, yeah, 20 million keystrokes lifetime on the keys, and then like six keys plus two function keys? Not sure what that means, but we'll see. And a lot of things in Chinese that I can't really read. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, let's just unbox this and check it out. So, um, we got mouse. We got keyboard. Get this out of the way. Pads and things. And mouse pad. Okay, so we'll do one at a time. Uh, we'll do the mouse pad first. Alright, so we got this guy, big box, cool, nice packaging, alright, cool, let's see, got a little uh, USB plug so it's obviously going to be RGB or something like that, and uh, it's well, not flexible anyway, and it has like little rubber, little feeties on it, so it probably won't scoot around or make noise or stuff like that. Serial number up there says, uh, up here, what is this? AJ Pad Pro RGB. All for the use of gaming competitions. Mm hmm. Okay. So, this guy here, let's plug it in, see what that looks like. And I got all my uh, bright lights on here, so let's uh, turn off the lights. Cool. All right, so we got, uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. Just like that. Okay, cool. So um, that mode is going to be like, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, oh, that's actually nice, pretty. RGB flowing around the outside of this. Cool. It's got like a little finger sensor here, so like touch that. Uh, that is sort of like pinky play. Okay, so that's going from blue to green to yellow to red purple blue So color cycling And again, we'll do it again. That is like white probably Oh, so it goes and fades in and out so white to purple and fade out to blue and so forth. Let's try the next one. So the next one is like color cycling it looks like around the edges. Oh wait, what is it doing? Okay, so it's doing like a... Okay, so it goes around the edge and then goes back around the edge, like kind of wrapping around and then a reverse wrap. Neat. And then it goes like a faster uh, going around the edges, color cycling, and then um, blue to green to man, I dig this thing. This is a cool mouse pad. So like maybe slow color cycling, I guess. And then like the it goes like one way reverses and then goes the other way. And then we have maybe solid colors. Yeah, so that's like red. And we got uh, orange maybe. Green, yellow, green, blue, purpley, blue, purple, white. Cool. Um, yeah. And off. All right, cool, man. I love this mouse pad. Um, just so real quick, this is my like favorite mouse, Microsoft Comfort Mouse. 
uh, butter smooth. Look at that. Absolutely butter smooth. I really enjoy having a mouse that has very little resistance and is feather light. After using mice for like basically my whole life, like 30 years, uh, I'm 45, but anyway, um, it was really nice on the wrist. So I'm digging this mouse pad. I love it. Excellent. All right, let's move on. Now, um, I'll leave the mouse pad there and we'll bust the mouse out. So here's this AJ350 gaming mouse, four step DPI software. H-U-Y-U -U switch, 20,000, probably the buttons, I guess, or the 20,000 activation buttons, RGB. And, oh, <laughs> those are the, the eight function keys. So I guess the mouse itself has eight function keys. All right. Get this open. Got a little manual thing. That and the mouse, which is in this. All right, cool. Let me plug the mouse in. Cool. All right, so, um, I guess I'll just leave the light down for the moment. <clears throat> okay, RGB lights. Spin that out a little bit. They're pretty cool. You see that? Zoom in a little bit. Nice. So we got uh, Plus and minus buttons up here, which probably increase and decrease the sensitivity. Syndrome. I want to take. Yep, that's what that does. Then we got your little wheel. Uh, okay, so the wheel is um, clicky. Pretty light in terms of how hard you have to actually swivel it. Uh, it clicks in. And then we got two buttons on this side, two thumb buttons up here, and then. Another button, is that a button? Not a button. Okay. Huh, where do they get eight buttons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe the... Anyway, um, and then there's a thumb button right here, which is like, you see that there? Let me see. Okay, so, um, you can see that little nub there, but here's what happens. Look at my thumb. Right smack there. Now let's say I'm not um, playing games, right? So I'm going to be doing this all day, and that friggin' button is right smack where my thumb is. And let's see if you can see that. But basically, it's like a really kind of sharp little nub there. Not really a fan of that. Um, in terms of the weight, I'm going to call it medium. It's not light and it's not heavy. It's somewhere in the middle. You can kind of hear the, the little pads on it. Eh, not my favorite, really. I guess the RGB is cool. The, the little nub is probably going to drive me insane. And actually, this one's, compared to my favorite mouse, is quite a bit heavier. Um, you can probably tell just by knocking around there, maybe. You can hear the difference in the glidey pads on the bottom. Anyway, cool. All right, let's move on to the keyboard. So here's your keyboard. Oh, wait, for, I forgot the mouse thingy. It says buttons and nothing really. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> All right, so this, whoop, let me zoom out. Manual, key puller, box out of the way. All right.
Okay, all plugged in there. All right, so <clears throat> these are obviously like side printed fonts. I'll zoom in a little bit there. Uh, I'll just turn the light off. Yeah, does that work? Yeah, you can kind of see the, the RGB effects there. All right, so got a little knob on the side. Digging that. I love knobs. Volume, I assume. Yeah, yeah, that function is as volume. Um, so let's see. Oh. That's interesting. So this thing is marketed as a gaming keyboard or gaming setup, right? We got the gaming mouse, gaming mouse pad, and then we got this keyboard, which clicks. How many of you gamers use uh, clicky type switches for gaming? I know zero. So that's weird, but let's just uh, move on with uh, other things that we can see about this keyboard. Let me, uh, let me just kind of get off. Uh, maybe try and get that little less glare on this guy, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's maybe a little bit better. Okay, um, we got like a button up here. RGB button, probably. So we got... <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. So that's like, I don't know, that. <laughs> then we got... It's like random colors kind of things. Yeah, like each key kind of color cycles. Then we got like kind of rows of colors there. Also color cycling. Um, so like the side fonts are actually, that's got to be what, like um, ABS, some combo of ABS. So you can see through the, the sides and they do glow. You know, the RGB shines through them. I mean, they're actually kind of nice. And as far as that goes, um, the, the clicky keys is a head scratcher. I don't get that. So then we got like, whatever that is, wavy waves, wavy waves. Let me go a little bit down. Sorry. Something like that. And then we got, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's kind of cool. And then we got like stars or starlight or whatever that rain, like a wave looking thing going back and forth. Uh, what is that one color, like pink? And then like, I don't even know how to describe half this stuff, but you can kind of get an idea. White, maybe-ish. Like single key light up. All right. Well, RGB. Everybody loves RGB. Okay. So, uh, what's on the bottom of this? We got some feet. Um, I do like the wheel. Nice. That's mute. Wait. I don't know what that is. Volume. Huh. Have to look it up. Uh, pause or play. Fast forward, rewind. Um, on the F keys, there's like, you know, you do the function key and you get like a search and then like an email and then like a cal uh, calculator and like the normal sort of like weird, you know, extra key craps. Um, Yeah. That is a quite loud blue type switch. Um, again, like, what kind of gamer uses this? I don't know. Let me turn the light on.
So you get an idea. Um, it's kind of like, I think it's, gosh, I don't know, Kalith Blue, maybe? Um, very, oh, eh. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> All right, well, um, so overall, I would say it's like okay for a typist, I suppose, if you're into Cherry Blues. Mouse pad is awesome. Mouse is so-so. Uh, eh, it's a mouse. Um, keyboard, probably better for a typist than a gamer. Cherry, or uh, sorry, uh, Kalith Blue clickies. Did you say, I'm uh, volume knob, lighting effects. So overall, pretty good. Um, would I recommend it? I think it was like about 120 bucks for the combo. Uh, kind of hard. I don't know. If you need to hold the mouse, by the way, the mouse pad is like one of the nicest ones I've seen, so that's cool. Love the RGB effects on it. Uh, would I pay that much? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, keyboard just isn't my thing. And by the way, um, and it does have a good heft to it. It's, it ain't gonna, uh, what do you call it, bend or anything like that. Um, I, yeah, that's gotta be plastic, I'm pretty sure. It does feel heavy though, like it's got like a metal plate in it or something. So that's cool. Um, Oh, First Blood. Okay, so it's a uh, Ajaz First Blood. That's what that is. Uh, so, yeah, do I recommend this? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not for a gamer. Like I said, I don't know any gamers that actually use clicky switches for anything. Uh, is it good a value? I mean, let's say the keyboard was like in the $80 range. Mouse, say like, I don't know, 40 Mouse pad 20 or something. Not really. It's, it seems like just priced about right. There's no really like big deal about getting the combo of everything. Uh, so... I just wanted to show people this Ajaz, like Triad, First Blood, 1 3, something like that combo. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're into the blue switches and the side fonts, that's a little bit unique. I haven't seen that too much. I'm sure you know. And uh, yeah, so um, have a great day.